What's going on you guys? It's George and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. My name is George and today guys I'm sharing with you a fragrance that I just discovered. This right here is Calvin Klein Encounter. It's been out since 2012 and I had no idea it existed. Picked this up at my local TG Maxx for $5 so I figured we're going to do a first impressions. We're going to smell this, see if we like it. You can pretty much get Calvin Klein scents like anywhere and this for their largest size I think goes for like 30 bucks I found online, but this is five. So why not try it out? Why not test it? Why not see if we like it? And uh, yeah, that's what we're here to do. So if you guys are interested in my review in Calvin Klein Encounter, and also a little haul here from TJ Maxx, then keep on watching. So this right here is basically just like a travel size cologne. It's nothing fancy or special. It's just kind of like a little little spritzer, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, for five bucks, I figured why not try this out. Should have probably opened this before, but there's actually multiple sizes that this is sold in. I believe there's like a 3.4 fluid ounce and a 6.2, but um, if I'm wrong, I'll put the like, right sizes down below. This right here is 0.67 fluid ounces. Very tiny. But like I said, this is like a small bottle here, so I figured, could throw this in the gym bag, keep this in the car. I mean, it's it's nice to have a cologne in your bag, in your backpack. I carry a backpack everywhere, so I always have a little fragrance in there. So, yeah, but there it is. Got this open. Boxing, like, the box is kind of sleek. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, nothing special, but very um, masculine, I must say. Let's get this open. Okay. There we have it. Very lightweight, this is just plastic, but it looks like all you have to do is press down on this and it's gonna spritz the fragrance. But before we get into that, let me just tell you guys what exactly is in this, note-wise. And I've actually found this on line, um, basenotes.net. That's actually a website where you can find out a lot about fragrances, what's in them ingredient-wise, what's the top note, medium note, and base note, so hard note. Whatever, there's notes go by like a million names. Anyway, uh, the top note for this is Mandarin Cardamom Rum. The heart note is Jasmine, Cognac, and Pepper. And base note is Ode, Musk, and Cedar. Everything listed within this sounds like something I love. Especially the Ode and Cedar. Musk too. I like musky scents. I like very deep masculine smells. I don't love it. But yeah, that's what's in this. So let's give it a smell and see if we like it. Did you see that? Okay. First squirt was like a water coming out. You know what? I'm liking it. It definitely has a very musky scent to it. And I can smell the ode. This is really good. For five bucks, I wish I picked up more of these. Yeah, guys, this is definitely worth the five bucks. The 30 bucks for the large bottle, it's probably worth that too. I'm actually gonna look into this because first impression wise, I like this. Now, what's also important too that I, I always forget to mention in my cologne reviews is you wanna see how the cologne lasts throughout the day because a lot of scents, they might smell amazing at first, but they don't last for a while. Like for example, I just reviewed the YSL um, Y fragrance, which smells amazing. But what I didn't include in my video is that the scent didn't last. And um, I would not pay 90 bucks for that fragrance ever again. Again, this is a pretty nice travel size. You could throw this in your bag. Cheap fragrance, affordable for almost anyone. And I like it. So definitely check this out, guys. Comic Client Encounter, five bucks. TG Maxx, go for it. So now I'm gonna share some things I picked up. Well, TG Maxx as well. Now this is. I guess we can classify this as kind of like a, a tiny haul. I don't have a lot of stuff, but picked up a few things that was like, I need this. But anyway, first thing is first, guys. I cannot believe this when I found Belgian Labs has a three set. Somebody commented on my video of my Belgian Labs review and said they came across one of these in the store, and I found one myself. This was only $9.99 for the Hydrate Glow and Firm Serum. This is a steal. One of these alone is like 12 bucks at Urban Outfitters. 
or if you buy it just like one alone at TJ Maxx, it's like seven bucks. So this is an insane steal. Then I got a dry shampoo. My sister kind of convinced me to get this. It's by uh, Batiste and it unfortunately has coloring in it, like a tint of brown um, for brunettes. I wish it didn't have this. This is the only one left, but it was only $4.79 and supposedly these are like much more expensive at Ulta or um, like a Sally's or something. I don't know, but dry shampoo. We can all benefit from that. Lazy day. So we got that. Now I also got a shirt and I'm not familiar with this brand, but it is by Denim and Flower Ricky Singh. Um, here it is. Very cute. Very uh, old school retro looking. I love this. This was actually $7.99. Got it for four bucks. And the original price like at the store was 24 bucks. Like the store itself, not TJ Maxx. So like this, I like how it actually has the cuffed sleeves and the neck. Cool. Like that a lot. Four bucks cannot go wrong. So if you're new to my channel, guys, hey, I'm George. I love sensational candles. These candles you could find online or at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. They're always sold there. And I found them at Macy's once before too. Anyway, I got myself a sensational candle for $4.50. This is the fur and grapefruit. It's kind of like a very wintry smell. A lot of people will probably say this is Christmassy, but pine and like tree scents for me, they're good for the winter. They're not just for Christmas, but loving this. It's three wick, it smells amazing. And these are completely natural coconut and beeswax blend. So it burns clean, which is important when it comes to candles, obviously. But normally these are like $12.99 at TJ Max, and uh, I got it for really, really cheap. They only had two sensational candles on sale, and I was like, they're mine. Sorry about it, people will buy it. This is the Onyx Scent. I have this in Violet Ode um, from the same, I guess, collection, but this, this smells amazing, guys. If you ever are into TJ Maxx, search for Sensational Candles. This is not sponsored. I just highly enjoy this brand. And um, this is three bucks. This is a, a nice size, um, 14 ounces. The other one was 26 ounces. I mean, you go to a Yankee Candle and you're probably spending like 30 bucks for a candle this size. I love TJ Maxx. I feel like I do a lot of hauls from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and all them. And uh, expect to see a lot more on this channel because I just, I can't stay out of that store. It's, it's a curse. Today my family and I actually went to a Disney on Ice show and it was the cutest thing. My nephew, which is four years old, he was, his eyes were huge. He was loving it. And um, yeah, it was, it was a really cool thing. That's why I'm like dressed like this today. Little elf on the shelf going on, not bothered. Also shout out to my mom for picking up this coffee cup for me. This is cats everywhere. Love this. Um, I have a weak spot for cats. If you are new to my channel, I have five cats. And my previous video, you met them all. So if you didn't watch that, check it out. I did a little bird box challenge. Um, that was fun. Bird box, again, guys, it's, that movie was kind of whack. It was good, but not what everybody is making it out to be. Everybody's like obsessed with bird box. And I'm just like, eh, it was okay. Did you watch the TV show You? Because that's, that's something to uh, make a big deal about. Also, Lohan Beach Club, guys, I, I have a very soft spot for Miss Lohan. I want her to make her comeback. I want her to do successful things. And the show, the first episode was pretty, pretty crazy. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this haul, fragrance review mess going on. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not already, please subscribe to my channel. That is much appreciated, it goes a long way. Share this video, share the love, hit the notification bell because I upload videos weekly, so you might as well follow me on this YouTube journey. And until next time, guys, have a good day, have a good night, whatever time of day it is, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.